Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, we are going to discuss the cross elasticity of demand. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS and R Studio. Let me begin with the introduction. The demand for one commodity depends on various factors. So the demand function for commodity X can be written as quantity of X is a function of price of X, income of the consumer, price of Y and some other factors. Let's take this example. Demand for Suzuki car depends on the price of that car, income of the consumer, price of fuel, price of Honda cars and some other factors. So what do we mean by cross elasticity of demand? The cross elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness in the quantity demanded for one commodity when the price of another commodity changes. So therefore, cross elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity X upon percentage change in price of Y. So it measures the responsiveness in the quantity demanded for commodity X when the price of commodity Y changes. And this is the formula by which we can calculate the cross elasticity of demand. Now we have three types of cross elasticity of demand. Positive cross elasticity of demand, negative cross elasticity of demand, and zero cross elasticity of demand. So the value of cross elasticity of demand ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. Let's talk about positive cross elasticity of demand. So when price of Y increases, quantity of X also increases. So X and Y are substitutes. Take this example. If price of Honda cars increases, the demand for Suzuki cars will increase because consumers will substitute Suzuki cars for Honda cars. So here Honda and Suzuki cars are substitutes. Negative cross elasticity of demand. When price of Y increases, the quantity demanded for commodity X decreases. And therefore, these two commodities are complementary goods. So if price of fuel increases, demand for Suzuki cars will fall. And here we can see fuel and cars are complementary goods. So for complementary goods, cross elasticity of demand is negative. And if there is no relation between price of Y and quantity of X, then we can say X and Y are independent goods. So price of coffee does not affect the demand for Suzuki cars. And therefore, these two are independent commodities or independent goods. So this is the idea of cross elasticity of demand. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.